Everything was exactly as it is with us, and everything seemed to have a festive radiance, the splendor of some great holy triumph. Never have I seen on our own earth such beauty in mankind, only perhaps in our children in their earliest years. In the first glance at their faces, I understood it all. Oh. It was the earth untarnished by the fall, on it with people who had not sinned. I have seen them myself, I have known them, I have loved them, and I suffered for them afterwards. But can one establish paradise? I don't know. Because I do not know how to put it into words. And yet how simple it is, in one day, in one hour, everything could be fixed up at once. The main thing is to love others like yourself. That's the chief thing. Nothing else is wanted. I learned the truth last November, on the 3rd of November, and I remembered every instant since. I decided to kill myself that night. I would shoot myself for sure, if it wasn't for that girl. I don't care anymore, for in an hour or two, everything will be extinguished. So why should I care about this girl? Anything at all. I shall turn into nothing. Into absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Life in the world somehow depended on me now. If I shot myself, the world would cease to be, at least for me. If I had lived before on the moon or on Mars, and there I had committed the most dishonorable action, would I care about it here or not? And then suddenly, I fell asleep. I dropped asleep unaware and even seemed to be still reflecting on the same subjects. So there is life beyond the grave. Is it an earth exactly like ours? How can it be repeated? In what form? It was like being in love with each other.
Is it an earth exactly like ours? How could it be repeated? And what for? It was like being in love with each other, an all-embracing universal feeling. They loved and begot children, but I never noticed in them the impulse of that cruel sensuality which overcomes almost every man on our earth, all and each, and is a source of almost every sin of mankind. But does it matter whether it was a dream or reality, if the dream made known to me the truth? Could my petty heart and fickle, trivial mind have risen to such a revelation of truth? I have seen them myself, have known them, and have been convinced I loved them, and I suffered for them afterwards.
They tease me now, telling me it was only a dream. But does it matter whether it was a dream or reality? If the dream made known the truth to me, I have seen the truth. I have seen and I know that people can be beautiful and happy without losing the power of living on earth. And it is just this faith of mine that they laughed at. Perhaps it was not a dream at all. The throw I have concealed it. But now I will tell the truth. The fact is that I corrupted them all.
we may be deceitful, wicked, and unjust. We know it, but we have science, and by the means of it, we shall find the truth, and we shall arrive at it consciously. Knowledge is higher than feeling. The consciousness of life is higher than life. Everyone belongs to all, and all belongs to everybody. It was a dream. They say delirium, hallucination, a dream. What is a dream? Isn't it like a dream? Let it be a dream. That real life of which you make so much, I had meant to extinguish by suicide. In my dream, it revealed to me a different grand, a renewed life. <laughs> 